Number 5. The Lane Bryant Shooting On the morning of February 2, 2008, a man armed with a gun walked into the Lane Bryant Outlet Store in Tinsley Park, Illinois, and he ordered the four customers and the two employees to go to the back of the store. Once there, he tied them all up, but the store's manager was able to use a cell phone to call 911. When the police arrived at the store, they found all six women, who ranged in age from 22 to 42, had been shot. Only one woman survived the slaughter. She described the killer as an African-American man, around 6 foot to 6 foot 2 with a husky build and his hair was in cornrows. The identity of the shooter is still a mystery and there is a reward of $100,000 for information on the killer. Number 4. The Miyazawa Family Massacre On the night of December 30th, 2000, someone or a group of people broke into the home of the Miyazawas in the Setagawa Ward of Japan. When he, or they, broke into the house, they found 41-year-old Yazuko home with her 8-year-old daughter, Nina, and 6-year-old son, Ray. The home invader, or invaders, stabbed both mother and daughter to death while Ray was killed via strangulation. The killer, or killers, then waited for 44-year-old Makiko to come home from work at 11 p.m. He was stabbed shortly after walking in the door. After killing the family, the killer, or killers, stayed in the house for the next 11 hours. During that time, he, or they, used the internet twice and ate the family's ice cream. The bodies of the family were found the next morning. Inside the house, the police found plenty of evidence, like a shirt that was worn by someone who did the stabbing, and blood that didn't belong to the family. We've also mentioned a few times that it is possible that multiple people were responsible for the massacre. Evidence that points to multiple suspects is that on the morning after the murders, a cab driver picked up three young men not far from the crime scene and they left bloodstains in his cab. Despite all the evidence, the person or people responsible for the quadruple murder is still a mystery. Number 3. The Alaskan Fishing Boat Murders In September 1982, the fishing boat The Investor was found in a cove outside of Craig, Alaska and it was engulfed in flames. The fire was put out and on the boat the police found eight charred bodies. The bodies belonged to Mark Colehurst, his pregnant wife Irene, their children, four-year-old John and Kimberly who was five, and four crew members who were all teenagers. All of them had been shot and then the fire was set to cover up the murders. Only one person was charged in connection with the mass murder, and that was a man named John Kenneth Peel. He was seen in the area where the boat had been anchored and near the cove where the burning boat was discovered, but he was acquitted twice. Without any other suspects, the murder of the eight people aboard the Investor remains cold. Number 2. The Jean Sorel Center Fire On the night of May 24, 1982, the students slash patients at the Jean Sorel Center in France, which was a psychiatric hospital for youths, watched a television show called Should Psychiatric Hospitals Be Burned? Later that night, one of the patients, who was between 14 and 20, decided that their hospital needed to be burned down. The fire spread quickly and it burned for four hours before the fire department got it under control. In total, 22 people were killed, 20 of them were students, and the other two were female employees. Out of the 70 surviving students, investigators were not able to determine who set the deadly blaze. Number 1. The Frog Boys March 26, 1991 was a national holiday in South Korea, so a group of five boys, who ranged in age from 9 to 13, decided to go catch frogs at Mount Waryong, which was not far from their homes. When none of them returned later that day, a massive search was launched and over the weeks, 300,000 police and military staff looked for the boys, but no trace of them could be found. Their skeletal remains wouldn't be found until 11 years later, after some heavy rainfall, their shallow graves were exposed. They were buried just over a mile away from their homes. All five boys had been buried side by side with their shoes beside them. The pathologist who examined the bones found marks on three of the boys' skulls and he concluded that the boys were stabbed in the head with a sharp object like a pick or a chisel point hammer. The police have never publicly identified a suspect and the murder of the Frog Boys is one of South Korea's most notorious unsolved mysteries. Thanks for watching Criminally Listed. We hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We post a new video every Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks again for watching.